first of all, for the few people out there who may not know, uh, tell us what, what, what containers are and, and why CIOs of these companies would be interested. Okay, well, we usually like to sort of use the physical world analogy of a shipping container. Um, and of course, the nice thing about shipping containers in the physical world is that no matter what's on the inside of them, the outside always looks the same. So you can take the same uh, container and move it from a ship to a train to a truck to a crane without having to worry about uh, changing anything. And you can have a, you know, a container full of uh, bananas next to a container full of monkeys. and You don't have to worry about them interacting in a bad way. Um, and the, the analogy in the, in the digital world is, in essence, uh, you can take any application or any service, uh, put it inside a, a digital container, um, and the outside will always look the same, which means it starts the same way, it stops the same way, it asks for resources the same way, it logs the same way, um, which means that you can take the same application and move it uh, from one server to another server to another server to the cloud to a VM without having to change anything, which is great. Uh, it also means that you can have an application built up out of lots of little pieces which are all in their own container and change one without having to worry about causing lots of unintended ripple consequences in the other. And that, that's important because you know, the, most of the, of the tech that's in data centers these days was built on three assumptions that are no longer true, namely that applications are monolithic, live a long time, and run on a single server. And you know, these days, all three of those things are changing rapidly, and Docker and containers are a great catalyst to enable that to happen. You guys didn't invent containers. Uh, so what, what, what's your val value add here? What, what did you bring to the totally. container game? Well, to, again, to use that, that analogy, before, before Docker, <laughs> containers were kind of like steel boxes, but they didn't have hooks and holes on them. Um, so in our case, uh, and they weren't usable across platforms. So what we did is we took a lot of the great technology that was used primarily in the operations side of the house at places like, uh, like Google and Facebook and others. We democratized it. We made it a developer tool and made it possible to have a standard so that the same container could run in any environment, whether it was you know, a legacy environment, whether it was a, a Red Hat server, another flavor of Linux, at Amazon, uh, at uh, SoftLayer, at Azure, uh, you name it. Um, and that basically made it easy to use. We brought together a community, we open sourced it, and that sort of has enabled this to uh, explode. 